In this example, we want to solve the following differential equation of dy dx equals to 3x squared minus 1, given the initial value of 1, 2. Okay, So to do this first, we're going to apply a technique called separation of variables. Okay, So we're going to separate the uh, dy and dx parts. Okay, So we're going to have dy equal to 3x squared minus 1 dx. And then from here, we're going to take the integral of both sides. So we're going to have the integral of dy equals to the integral of 3x squared minus 1 dx. Okay, so this is going to give us our, um, our general uh, solution. Okay. So we're going to have the integral of dy is going to give us y. Okay. And the integral of 3x squared minus 1, that's going to be, so we're going to get 3x cubed over 3. So that's going to give us x cubed. The integral of 1 is going to give us x. Okay. So we're going to have, we're going to have x cubed minus x plus some constant. Okay. So this is the, what's called the general solution. Okay. Okay, so we're going to use our initial value of 1, 2 to find our constant. Okay. Okay, so this is saying that when x is 1, y is 2. So we're going to have 2 equals 2. Okay, 1 cubed minus 1 plus c. So therefore, right, c has to be equal to 2. Okay. So therefore, our function, right, y is going to be equal to x cubed minus x plus 2. So this is the what's called the particular solution. Okay, so going back to the general solution, remember c could be any value. Okay, so you end up getting a family of curves uh, that look, or they have the same, uh, you know, the same, it has a similar graph to x cubed minus x. Okay, so basically this is just going to have, you're going to have x cubed minus x, but it's going to be shifted down or up depending on what the, uh, depending on what the value of c is. Okay, so here's a sample of some of the, uh, sample of some of the uh, general solutions. Okay, so remember c could be anything. So in this case, uh, the, the one that's going through the origin, that's for c equals zero. Then as we go up on the y-axis, we have the next curve, which is for c equals to one, then for c equals to two, and then c equals to three. Going down, we have the function for uh, c equals to negative one, negative two, and minus three. Okay, so the one that we found uh, is going through the coordinate of one two. Okay, which is okay, which is about here, which is right at this point. So that's at one two. So that so that is corresponding to the particular solution that we found. In other words, that's right. That's x cubed minus x plus two. Okay, so again, that's just x cubed minus x shifted up two units. Okay.